Today we will talk about Grav, which is one of the best flat file CMS. And this is an introduction of Grav. So what are we going to discuss today? Today we will discuss, first of all, what is st static site generator. And we need to un understand what exactly is uh, the difference between static site generator and a flat file CMS. Then we'll discuss the benefits of using Grav, which is a flat file CMS over static site generator. And we want to discuss today the scenario or some use cases where Grav is more relevant for your requirements. And then we'll again discuss some of the benefits of static site generator over Grav, which is your flat file CMS. So what is a st static site generator? Static site generator is nothing but a tool to generate uh, site export in plain simple HTML files. You can store all the configurations. In fact, all the configurations of your uh, static site are stored in your plain simple files in your uh, package, in your, uh, in your folder where you will be creating your, your site and the data itself the, the pages and maybe if you want to create a blog, everything is stored in file. And static site generator is not a CMS because there is no backend, there is no admin panel. And the way you work on your static site generator is through your console or your text editor. And Hugo and Jekyll are one of the most popular static site generator. So in case you are looking for a simple way to create a website without worrying about setting up a database, you can take a look at either Hugo or, or Jekyll. They are both really good. And one of the most important aspect of static site generator is that it can be hosted literally anywhere. You don't really need, need to worry about whether you can host it on a specific hosting provider because uh, it is nothing but a plain simple html file and uh, it, it can it can literally be hosted almost everywhere so at the same time we need to understand what is a flat file cms because uh, in this video we are talking about grav which is a flat file cms so flat file cms is actually a content management system but there is no database so all the all the configurations are stored in your uh, in your files and of course your data is also stored in in in, in file in your files but the but the difference is that when you talk about uh, graph which is a flat file cms there is a backend involved and that backend is nothing but a but a panel but but some kind of uh, a ui that you can use to to create pages, to create blog, and also to make some configuration changes. Of course, you can also do the same thing from your from your terminal by modifying the configuration files. But uh, Graph actually comes with a with a very good admin panel where you can do a lot of things. Like you can change the config configurations, you can install new themes, you can install new plugins. You can't really do almost everything but uh, you can you can actually use it as a, as a, as a standard cms like uh, drupal or wordpress and just to let you know grav actually needs php to run so let us discuss some benefits of static site generator like hugo or or jekyll first of all as we discussed earlier it can be hosted anywhere because uh, it is nothing but uh, some bunch of html files and uh, you can actually host your static site uh, on github which is uh, very popular for for hosting static sites and you can actually use github pages as well to to create to create a web a web site where you can add regular blogs and it is actually based on jekyll you can also use uh, netlify and uh, search.sh to host your static site and if you're not familiar with uh, netlify i have made one video where i have shown how we can use uh, hugo to deploy that site built on hugo on netlify at the same time i recently came about uh, i came to know about search.sh which is also really good and you can literally 
host your website or launch a website to within a few minutes. And if, if you're not familiar with search.sh, I highly recommend you to go to search.sh, which is actually the domain name where you can find the instructions to, to set up your website using search. One of the main uh, advantage or benefit, in my opinion, is that uh, it is very simple to, to create a website using Hugo or Jekyll because you're just uh, dealing with some plain, simple files and uh, there is no backend involved, there is no admin UI and you can actually, uh, you, you can actually host a website or start building a website uh, from your terminal itself. And it is also very fast. So let us now discuss some of the benefits of Graph, which is uh, also uh, very, very important because we need to understand in which case or in, in what scenarios you can potentially look at Graph as your potential flat file CMS. First of all, in my opinion, when I'm working on, uh, on, on a CMS, I really like the way that you can uh, make some changes. You can actually add new modules. You can also add some new themes from the admin UI. And this is really, uh, really a nice way because uh, you can actually go to the grab admin UI where you have the option to simply go to the section called themes or maybe plugins and you will be able to add new files or new new plugins or maybe new themes and it is actually very much similar to the way you would uh, create or you would install new themes on wordpress or maybe drupal there is also a search feature because uh, uh, it has some functionality where you can actually search the content of your website so this is something that you can potentially look at if you're interested interested in search the site updation is uh, is quite quite easy so whenever there is a new version of let us say a specific theme or a plugin you can actually uh, do it from your uh, admin ui and uh, installing new themes and plugins is very easy as i mentioned earlier because uh, it is all about going to the admin panel and uh, just you know clicking on uh, the new theme that you want to install and uh, you can actually manage it very easily without worrying about uh, different uh, different uh, maybe commands or maybe without worrying about editing any files so let us do a comparison of uh, Grav versus Yugo. And the purpose of this comparison is not to really compare both uh, flat file CMS like Grav and uh, static site generator such as Hugo. The purpose of this comparison is to give you some idea about what all these two tools can offer. And you can probably choose which one is more suitable for your requirements. So first of all, Grav is based on uh, on PHP, whereas Hugo is not. So you don't really need to have PHP running on your uh, on your local computer or maybe on your server. When we talk about the backend, Grav comes with uh, a backend, and in case of Hugo, there is no backend. You need to modify the files on your console or maybe using your text editor to to make a change or to add new uh, new pages or maybe new blocks. Deployment time is fast in both Grav and Hugo, but uh, I felt uh, personally that uh, working on Hugo is probably slightly more faster because, faster because uh, uh, when you work on Hugo, you can uh, simply uh, you know add a new page very quickly by using a command, and then you can simply commit your code to your repository, and it will be uh, deployed if you have uh, done some setup, if, if you have done some auto deployment with uh, Netlify. But while you're working on your uh, on your website, on your local computer, you can feel that Hugo is slightly fi faster when it comes to the deployment. When it comes to ease of use, again, Grav and Hugo, they are both quite simple, but uh, there are a few things in Grav such as uh, you, if you need to create a new page using console, you need to first create a folder, then you need to create a new file within a folder with a specific uh, name so that you, it can use the right template. But uh, you also have the option to go to the Grav admin uh, admin panel but i still felt working on hugo was uh, quite simple because you have a command to create a new post and you can simply modify the file and and that is it and i felt personally if you are uh, if you're familiar with console i think you will also agree with me that working on hugo is slightly more easier 
and the initial setup of uh, both uh, Grav and Hugo is quick, but again, as uh, compared to uh, Grav, Hugo is slightly more more fast. So as you have figured out already, if you want to have a very simple website and you want to, to save time, you want uh, you want to add new pages, you want to maybe create content very quickly, and if you are updating content on a regular basis. You can probably go for Hugo, but in case you're not familiar or you're not very comfortable working on console, you're not familiar or comfortable working on uh, modifying the files, Grav is probably more suitable because it does come with uh, an admin panel to, to add or to modify any, any content on the website. So in this video, we discussed uh, an introduction of Grav, but uh, in the next video, we will be discussing about uh, how we can set up an actual website where we will show you how to download Grav on your local computer and how to set up a website uh, by making some changes on the on the setup files or the package that you will be downloading from the Grav website. And we will be creating one more video. The last video in this series will be will be based on the deploying of Grav on. Uh, on Dreamhost, which is a very popular hosting service. And at, at the same time, we will also learn how to set up auto deployment so that whenever you make a change on your Grav website, you can commit your code on your repository and those new files, those new changes to your repository will be picked up automatically and deployed on your hosting provider. So I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.